There's a brand new chapter in Geometry Nodes, and it's going to change the way that you think about asset creation. While Blender has long been capable of physics simulations, in Blender 3.6, we can now harness the power of simulation directly inside Geometry Nodes. This opens the door on hundreds of visual effects, simulations, and complex operations that were previously impossible in Blender. And because it's all seamlessly integrated into geometry nodes, you have access to all of the procedural power that you've come to know. Procedural simulation is a big topic, and as it's brand new inside Blender, there's just not a huge amount of content to learn from yet. To give you the best chance of getting ahead, over the last few months I've been working hard to put together three new courses to introduce you to the new tools. And we're going to be going through everything all the way from applying forces to a point, all the way up to building complete erosion simulations. In these courses, you're going to be learning the current best practices to get the most out of the tools in your projects. You'll learn to think about simulation and how to approach these new workflows that have been introduced. We'll be starting the series with bouncing balls. In this course, you're going to be learning the foundations of simulation nodes. How can we apply forces to objects? How can we calculate collisions and bouncing? How do we implement rotation based on the collision force? As well as how do we create an arbitrary number of balls that can all collide with one another? Following this, we'll be diving into voids. Voids demonstrate flocking behavior like schools of fish or flocks of birds through the implementation of three simple behaviors. We have cohesion, alignment, and separation. Now these behaviors are all fairly widely documented, but we're going to be taking our void simulation far beyond this. We're going to be introducing collision avoidance, attractor and repeller objects. We'll be using guide splines, optimizing the system, and we'll even go as far as building a system for predation. So we'll have predator voids and prey voids, and they will interact accordingly. All of this leads to a very art directable system. And, and this is one of the things which is most difficult about learning simulations is how do you make it behave the way that you want it to behave? Our final stop is going to be erosion and more specifically hydraulic erosion with soil transport. This is really just a fancy name for how water flowing over the surface of a terrain moves around the features, which is going to result in valleys, peaks, and planes. Throughout this course, we're going to be learning how we can guide and modify the simulation to accept different types of input mesh for different terrain types, and how we can guide the simulation towards specific compositional outputs. This is particle-based erosion mimicking rainfall. So this is going to follow on naturally from the previous two courses, bringing your skill up to a new high. By the end of these courses, you're going to feel confident in creating brand new simulations and visual effects for your projects. All of these courses are hosted on Node Group. So this is a new platform that I'm launching to host all of my content, coaching and products. But also as the community grows, I will be commissioning additional courses from other industry professionals so that we can expand into more technical art areas like creative coding, machine learning, things like this. For this week only, there is a 50% launch discount on the courses and you can buy them individually or you can buy them as a bundle for additional savings. Check the links down in the description to find out more. I'm really excited about simulation nodes and I hope you are too. I look forward to seeing you in the first session.